Are you going to drive? Are you going to drive us to Pond View? Hmm? No, you're not planning to drive? I know, you're not very happy about this whole taking off business, are you? You're not very happy about it. But you're doing very well. Yes, I mean it. I mean it. You're doing great. Do you like this seat better up front? Yeah? Well, here comes Daddy. <laughs> hey, Faced with our potential mortality in our late 50s and the knowledge that life is short, we had limited good years remaining in this life journey of ours. It was clear a life change needed to happen or our time was going to run out. We'd worked hard our entire lives, raised a blended family, and raced on the hamster wheel like pros. All with the promise of more of the same until we left this earth. We took a giant leap of faith, grabbed each other by the hand, and said goodbye to our big house and lucrative income to retire to our little cottage in the woods. A shed, really. We're turning our 336 square foot, one bedroom cottage into the tiny house of our dreams and a life worth living. I'm Christine. This is my husband, Mitch. Welcome to my tiny retirement. This is our story. For traffic lights And I I really wanna know Really wanna know If I Let me figure out Where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching For my highs Alright you guys I just took a three hour nap because after spending a week with my daughter, I am wiped out. <laughs> that girl can shop. <laughs> All right, so we are at our cousin's now uh, at Pond View Golf Course in Star City, Indiana. And I just wanted to show you our camp view for the night. Never mind my puffiness. I've had a massive fibro attack. Let me turn you around. <laughs> I have devil horns. I have devil horns. <laughs> they won't go down. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, Mitch is hungry. I'm going to go feed him something. <laughs> One of the childhood stomping grounds. Mr. Happy Burger. All right, and this animal. is a pork tenderloin. <laughs> it is a, it's a breaded pork tenderloin. Mine has mayo only. Mitch, on the other hand, has everything except the kitchen sink and ketchup. Yep. <laughs> and then, of course, we top it all off with, I have a lemon Coke. Mitch has a vanilla Coke. And I am not a, I am not a French fry eater, but I will eat their French fries. For some reason, they're just 
so good. <laughs> Okay, my hand for reference. This is one of the things I truly miss about Indiana. Look at this bag of carrots. Okay, this is these are not the carrots that I grow at home. Trust me, my, the carrots I can grow are like this. All right, it's one of the things I miss about Indiana. We went to the produce market today, Logan's Court. What do you think of my tomatoes? <sighs> if you could smell these. This is one of the things I miss about Indiana. The tomatoes. I can't grow these in Maine. guys I hope you can hear me that is our air conditioner going you know why because it is I think it's 11:30, maybe noon here in Star City Indiana at Pond View Golf Course it is 98 degrees I can't step outside but what my glasses fog up uh, the heat index I have been told is about a hundred and one or two right now so I'm hoping you guys can hear me if not I will do a voiceover the reason this video is very important the reason this video is very important we're gonna have our very first tomato sandwich of the season here in Indiana I have it's actually pre-cooked bacon. I'm gonna cook this up. I've got mayo. I have brioche buns. And look at this, look at this. The tomato's gonna to be bigger than the bun. Look at that. Well, maybe not bigger. Well, maybe. About the same size anyway. my fancy schmancy tomato knife you will recall this was my anniversary present I have not used this knife I have been waiting and waiting until we got to Indiana and here we are I have just unwrapped it for the first time I'm not even gonna wash it I'm that excited oh I think it just cut me already good lord all right so here we go. I'm gonna put you guys on fast mo. And I'm gonna make us our first tomato sandwich.
so we are in Winnemac, Indiana, and we are about to have lunch. I guess jaywalking is okay here. <laughs> At One-Eyed Jack's. I've never been here. It apparently is new. Motorcycle golf cart parking only. <laughs> okay. So obviously you can drive golf carts around town. You can apparently drive golf carts around town. Oh, you guys, look. This is how old this town is. I gotta do a close-up. Look at that house. Oh my gosh. There are so many old homes, old farms, old buildings up here. Oh, then we have a thrift store. I might be able to find something in the thrift store. Whoops. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to try to do this without getting too many people. So, no. I just want to show you the decor. And no, that's not actual real hardwood. I thought it was, but it's not. Um, so, here we go. I'm going to zip past anybody I see sitting quickly. All right, well, I guess I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but beautiful fireplace. And here we go. You can see it's really minimal. Nice and clean. But it's really clean. Oops, I don't want to get too many people. All right, now I'm going to show you something else that's pretty funny. When I jack. Eat, drink, repeat. Oh, that's a child actually having a good time. It's not a <laughs> upset a child. It's not a banshee. It's a happy banshee. You <laughs> <laughs> <We're> recording. <laughs> I thought I was. I want to see you put that in your mouth. Oh my god, look at that bite. Alright, now I want to see what's on it again. Now what is the sauce? Just a hot sauce, like Tabasco or something. So bacon, onions, what is the cheese? Uh, pepper jack. Pepper jack. With grilled onions, jalapenos, bacon, and... It doesn't even fit on the plate. Oh, it melts in your mouth. All right, and here's mine. Here we go. Holy moly. All right, I'm going in. So we are up bright and early. This is day two of traveling, heading home. Pardon my appearance, it's really early. Um, so yesterday, we started our journey home. Mitch starts, decides that, you know, once the camper is hooked up, oh, you guys are super crooked. Mitch decides he is going to empty the tanks at the dump station, at the golf course where we were staying, um, I went over to the clubhouse to say goodbye to the cousins and, you know, all of that. It, well, Gerard and I did. Mitch took the cat, kept the cat in the car with him and went and did that and was going to come up and get me. All of a sudden, I see Mitch. No camper, just him walking. While he was down at the dump station, he decided he, he was... While he was down at the dump station, he left the car running, got out, because it was hot yesterday. So he left the car running for the cat in the car. The cat locked him out of the car, stepped on the, the lock, and locked him out. Yes, our cat is that heavy. <laughs> so he comes up to get my keys. Honey, my keys are in my in my purse. Oh, okay. Well, where's your purse? In the car. So 
so our first thought was the cat in the car. And he's like, no, it's fine. His food is in there, his water, his litter box, the AC is cranking, he's gonna be just fine. So, okay, not worried about the cat. Call AAA. It was like an hour and a half, two hours by the time they got there. No big deal, everybody was fine. We go down to the car, once AAA gets there, the camper and, and the Jeep and all of that, the passenger window is down on the driver's side. The back windows were locked, you know, with the child lock things. Those don't affect the front. That's just Mitch putting up the stabilizers, the uh, scissor jacks for the camper. Passenger side window is down. Frank is nowhere to be found. But he had pooped on the back seat. So, and it didn't look that old to me. So, and I didn't, Frank does not usually wander far, but at that point I was panicking. I was in a mad panic. Um, keep in mind, we were already about over two hours off schedule. <laughs> And we were already about two hours off schedule, but we were not leaving without our cat. Frank is one of our babies, and he wouldn't have survived. He, he's not street savvy. He's, he doesn't know how to hunt. He had no water. And I'm, I was in a panic. So about four hours later, I mean, we had a search party out. There was, there was a search party going on. Even, you know, the golfers were looking for him. <laughs> and just as everybody's about to say, you know what, we need to call it for, for the afternoon and night. And the, there was a storm coming. We could see storms coming. It's already humid over here. It is humid. Look at all the cats. Can you see all the black cats? Now you see all the goats. Oh, we do see goats. <laughs> I see. I'm so busy telling our folks about what happened yesterday. Yeah, was, what are you looking for, honey? I'm looking for the map for this place. Here. Oh, there you go. Let's see how good um, here. So anyway, at the end, you know, I mean, it had been, what, four hours maybe? Yeah. It, it was a good long time. But we... Yeah, you. As you can tell, we found him. You can see him right there. Look at him acting, looking like nothing ever happened. Like he didn't just scare the living daylights out of me yesterday. I'm still upset. But everybody was about to, you know, we were all sort of splitting up and the folks went back to the clubhouse. Mitch decided he was going to take one more walk down the golf course or something. But I, anyway, I somehow I was standing there by myself and I was just in tears because I thought I don't want to leave him out here all night. We knew we weren't moving the car or the camper on the chance that he'd come back to the spot where he knew the car was. And of course, I'd been praying all day long. I'd been praying all day. Please let me find this cat. Please. The very, so I gave out one yell. You know, I swallowed my tears. And I gave out one yell. His name. And not, I don't know how far it was. 50 feet in front of me? Yep. He popped his head up through the bushes. He'd been hiding. He was so scared. There was this old, I don't know if it was an old golf cart or a, uh, for no, parts or, or a was, lawnmower or what the heck yeah. it was. It was some machinery. Oh, there we go. Oh, oops. Sorry. No, you're fine. No. Stop. No, we're going to do a bouncy bouncy. Um, popped. Test. Po oh, don't even. <laughs> don't even. Anyway, he popped his head up and meowed at me. And I was like, am I am I like really seeing him? I'm looking right in front of the very spot that I'm looking at, that I happen to be looking at. And then he disappeared again. Well, not to be detoured. Yeah, listen to that cat. Not to be detoured, I marched right where 
in the yeah that's me in the direction that he was in and hunkered down underneath that machinery was that little rascal little rascal <laughs> and I pulled him up reached down through the things I don't know how many bruises and they'll start coming out today I'm sure and I got paint or, or something all over me it ruined my shirt yeah like you're the injured one here <laughs> <coughs> oh no, yesterday was just not not one of the best days I ever had. How about you? Uh, no. <laughs> so that was our day yesterday and one of the reasons I didn't do a video. I mean, yes, it would have been full of drama, full of emotions. It would have been, you know, a director's dream. But it was... No. Yeah. Don't you poop in this car. <laughs> All right. That's, so that's it, guys. All right, you guys. We are in, I forget what town in Pennsylvania, but we saw this food truck on the way out, and it wasn't open. So now I want to show this to you guys. I got I to gotta show you guys this food truck. Look at this thing. Mitch got so excited. <laughs> I have no idea what some of this is. I have ordered the number three. So we'll see what that's about. <laughs> you 29? Yeah. Yeah, he's been yelling for you. Oh, right? yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I was about to say, well, since he's already paid for it, I'll be more than happy to eat it. Whatever you got, because it all looks good, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, and here's the name of this food truck. All right, man. Go, you food. All right, take it easy, man. All right, and the smells coming out of this food truck are awesome. All right, so I ordered the number three with chicken. And that like looks, looks well, it looks like really marinated chicken. Yeah. And a lot of cilantro. This sauce is beefy and tomatoey at the same time. And a little spicy, but it is delicious. And what did you get? Let's see yours. Oh, sorry, there's one missing. Somebody stole it. I don't know. We got the... La, La Jefe, the El boss. Jefe. The boss. He, he was out of <laughs> cow time, so I took Sharice. All right. All right. So we're going to take a minute here. We're going to enjoy our truly authentic Mexican food. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. had enough of being dirty <laughs> and being messy. This camper is trashed. It needs such a cleaning. Right, Gerard. <laughs> folks this is the day after we have landed from our Indiana vacation camping vacation we are home as you can see um, it didn't take me but five minutes to go into that garden to see how it had survived for two weeks without me um, luckily we had almost zero waste because my wonderful neighbor who was watching our chickens I had told her to help herself and man did she ever <laughs> She told me that she'll watch our chickens anytime during garden season. So, 
that was very good to see that nothing went to waste but even with her harvesting as things were coming in steadily keeping keeping everything nice and healthy nothing going rotten or anything like that she did a great job helping me out um even with that oh whoops let's put you guys there you can see i'm still in my still in my bathroom um it is 9 30 in the morning we slept in a little bit as you can tell i came home with a bit of a cold I'm pretty sure it's not COVID. I think that it is because uh, we were exposed to it. But I'm pretty sure it's just allergies because since our debacle with Frank, um, I have been very clingy to him. I'm, and I am allergic to him. And I haven't been taking my allergy meds. I didn't need them out in Indiana. I'm not allergic to stuff out there. But anyway, I want to show you guys. I was out there and it didn't take me but a few minutes to go and gather up what was ripe. And it, there were... Well, let me show you. Check it out. No, not the limes. But we came home to, you know, the general had laid us a beautiful egg. We came home to a nice, great big zucchini. There's another zu smaller zucchini around here somewhere. I don't know where that went. It's so small. It's so small it has disappeared. Oh, there it is, right beside it. Right beside it. So we had some zucchini. Look at all of these. Look at all these beauties. So we are going to have our, um, hold on. Wait, hello. <laughs> so what we don't cook up, I just did a video and, and I did, I actually did this video before we left for vacation, but didn't have a chance to edit. So hopefully you will have seen that with the uh, tomato and feta bake to go over pasta. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. I know, I'm a little goopy. Um, so we are going to use these cherry tomatoes. And I don't have any feta cheese because we just got home. But I do have a block of cream cheese. So we're going to see how that works. We're going to try it. Uh, I had some basil that is starting, that looks like it's trying to really grow. It, there's one bed out there. And I'll take you guys on a walk out there, you know, in a little bit. But for right now, there's some fresh basil out there that's not huge, but I think I've got enough. I think I can harvest enough to do a good job. And then I'll go out in the freezer and see what we have for protein out there. And I'll just do a nice big bake. And then serve it all over some beautiful linguine or, I don't know, some kind of a pasta. Okay? So this is probably the last video. Uh, before I dump everything down on my laptop and try to start editing all of our all of our trip and then I'll do a garden tour then I'll do a garden tour that'll probably be another video um, of how things fared while we were gone okay so that's it you guys are all caught up as far as I can tell we are home we are back in the swing of things sort of sort of you know, you know how you get that loopy, you know, <clears throat> feeling after being on the road. So that's kind of where we are right now. We're going to take sort of a down day today. The camper is still hooked up in the driveway with the car. We will deal with all of that. But yeah, that's about it. Now we're trying to get into harvesting the garden. Wait till you see some of the things. They've exploded. Couldn't believe it. And then some things died. Some things died because they didn't have attention, but we expected that. Family comes first. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the Notify All button to be sure and not miss a new video. Also, please like and comment. Thanks for watching.